Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the new setup. This is my favorite setup I've ever had. It's been three years of YouTube now, and I wanna thank you guys for being on the journey with me because now we've got a house. And no, I didn't buy one, I leased one for now, but it is really, really exciting because we have so much more room. I mean, the setup looks way better. I was able to get all my fan art and stuff I love on the wall. I. I am really happy with this new setup. Now you might be saying, hey DM, okay? Well, what about what happened to your green screen and all that? I mean, how are you gonna do, if this isn't a very good angle when you're playing games, ah, that's a, that's a good point, ladies and gentlemen. So we have the backup camera at the other angle. Well, DM, that's still not a green screen, but we can see your cat tree nicely framed in the background so we can see the cat. However, when we need the green screen, oh, what's that? The green screen's still a pop-up? Oh my lord, that is so much better than the green screen wall. If you didn't know before, I had a giant curtain that was green that I just, that I just strapped over a wall with tape. So obviously this setup's a little bit better. I'm actually pretty excited by it, okay? On top of that, I wanna let you guys know, now that I'm in the new house, I'm fairly set up, all I gotta move is my TV and like a bed and a few things. Once we're fully in here, guys, I'm gonna start doing uh, some different kind of content. I'm gonna start doing a lot more live streaming, both on YouTube as well as Twitch. So I'm gonna start today by doing a nice long live stream to show the setup to you guys, or show you guys the house, as well as get some time with the fans because it's been a minute since I've really sat down and talked to everybody and, and kind of got reconnected. So if you're interested in coming by, seeing the setup, I don't know, welcoming me to the new home and all that. We're gonna kind of have a, a housewarming party today on the live stream, and that's at twitch.tv slash Darth Microtransaction. So we are back on the free to play today, and look at this, we have a void shard and we have an ancient shard. So we're gonna open both of these, and with any luck, we're gonna get something that's not garbage. Now, the best void hero I've gotten so far, I think is this guy, Skimfoss the Consumed. I haven't really built him yet. I think this move is really cool. You get the decrease attack, hits all enemies, transfers debuffs, etc. from all allies to this champion. I think that's pretty good, sort of like, a, I don't know, a cleanse almost. So I like that character, but the only other voids I've got so far were be good rares, which is Pain Keepers, obviously a good rare. And then I also got Fellhound as well, which I'm slowly building up to be a farmer, because if you didn't know, he's a, a really good campaign farmer. So that's currently what I've been working on as, as far as voids go. We haven't really got anything decent with far as voids. We still need a good defense up and we still need a good block debuffs or a good cleanse or something like that. I guess we have Skimfos, like I was saying, but it's not really the, the one we were hoping for. Now, as far as gems go, we have zero. So this is kind of an expensive an expensive week because I did my pose already. What I'm gonna do is go here to Ginzen. Let's just crunch in some of these real quick. We gotta make room so we can use our, here we go. Okay. So what I would like to see is obviously a code heart. But other than a code heart, I'll really take anything at this point. Okay, we got a rare. Ah, uh, we got the guy that needs a sandwich, Hollow. I don't think he's usable literally at all. Attacks enemy four times, decreases target's term here, fills his. Yeah, no, he's he's garbage, he's not usable. Let's see what we can get out of the Ancient Shard at least. Can we get an Epic? Now we got Rare, what we get out of the Rare? Okay, and then we got Magus, who I don't think really does anything. She does 5% poison on all enemies. I didn't realize she actually does an AOE poison. Attacks all enemies and heals her. The amount of which she's healed is equal to the damage inflicted. That's actually not a bad move for a Rare. And she does ally speed and arena bows. She's actually not that bad for a rare to be honest. I mean, I'm not gonna use her, but she's not terrible for a rare. I don't think she's a fusion person. By the way, if we go to fusions, check out this. Here's Rosin, right? One, two, three. All we need is her for that one. One, two, and then we need this one's farmable. And we need Raider, and then one, two, three. And this one's farmable. So, so far it's Raider plus one, and then Spike Head. So we need Spike Head, we need Raider, and we need Pentient. That's it, that's it. And then we can actually uh, make Rosin, which is amazing. So we're gonna have another we're actually gonna have another legendary soon. I didn't realize Rosin was that close. I mean, we're like right there. Well, you guys are in luck. It looks like you get to see another ancient shard opened. Here we go. Three, two, one. Give me an epic, baby. Come on now. Okay, a rare and tree feller who is not usable at all. Wait, doesn't she? Yeah, she does bombs. Two times a random, each has a chance of placing bombs. Interesting. So we do have War Mother. I'm kind of trying to get a bomb team together, but I don't know if she's going to be good enough to be added onto the list for that. 
Now, I wanna show you guys one thing too. I still don't have, and this is probably my fault, but I still don't have the orcs up to be able to get the legendary pieces of gear, so I'm sort of stuck. And on Ogren Tribe, I still haven't beat this yet with War Mother, so I'm kind of in the position where I'm I'm not as far in Faction Wars as I should be. I need to do some grinding on there, and I don't have an experience banner. I was waiting around for an experience banner because I thought once I get one of those, then I can grind out the Xpear on Ginzo or whatever, the new the new legendary I got. But I, I don't have one, and I'm not sure when I'm gonna be getting one. I mean, if we look in the daily login rewards, the next one's here in 10 more days. So I don't think I'm gonna be getting one in 10 days, and I don't, think I can get one anywhere else because I don't have gems or anything like that. Maybe in the Doom Tower I can go through. Let's see. I haven't done the Doom Tower yet. So there is an XP banner. Where? How far do I got to go before I get a daily XP banner? Is there any of them? All the way up to 94? Surely that can't be right. You're telling me they don't have any XP, daily XP banners all the way till 94? Wow, that seems expensive. How about on hard? Don't tell me it's the same thing. No way. Wow. Well, then how are you supposed to get these daily XP banners then? Can we get it from where are we on the advanced quest? Okay, we're not terribly off from the advanced quest. We need 31 more, which within reset we'll get close. Okay, so that's probably where we're gonna get our next one because we can't really get it with the banners or anything like that. I would say we could get it from the weekly, I suppose, during the reset. That's probably gonna be the next one and that's one day so today during 4 p.m my time i'll be able to get another one you know i totally forgot that i get a sacred shard as soon as i fuse just occur i completely forgot about this and in order to fuse him what do i need here uh i have everything to fuse him i just need well i need to farm another war maiden i've got everything else basically well i know what i'm doing today three to, so come by the live stream, twitch.tv slash Darth Microtransaction. I'll be live as of the posting of this video. I will see you there. We're going to be leveling a little bit on the free to play as well as working on the new legendary a little bit of Marvel, probably a little bit in New World 2. So do please come by and I'll show you the new setup. Love you all. Thanks so much for the support over the last few years. And I'll see you on the next video.